Hi everybody, today is April 7th, 2013. Fukushima meltdown driving increased abnormalities among U.S. infants. In wake of disaster, children on the West Coast almost one-third more likely to suffer from thyroid abnormalities. Infants on the West Coast of the United States are showing increased incidence of thyroid abnormalities, which researchers are attributing to radiation release following the March 2011 meltdown at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. According to a new study published in the Open Journal of Pediatrics, children born in Alaska, California, Hawaii, Oregon, and Washington between one week and 16 weeks after the meltdown began are 28% more likely to suffer from congenital hypothyroidism, CH, than were kids born in those states during the same period one year earlier. CH results from a buildup of radioactive iodine in our thyroids and can result in stunted growth, lower intelligence, deafness, neurological abnormalities, though can be treated if detected early. And if you got the money to have your child tested and treated, it takes money. But don't forget, Obama's going to cut Social Security and Medical. Because their small bodies are more vulnerable and their cells grow faster than adults, infants serve as the proverbial canary in the coal mine for injurious environmental effects. With the embryo and fetus, there can never be a safe dose of radiation, writes NukeFree.org founder Harry Weiserman. No dose of radiation is too small to have a human impact. There was a report, I believe it was in 2005, given to Congress that shows there is no such thing as any dose of radiation being safe for any age bracket. According to researchers from the Radiation and Public Health Project who performed the study, Fukushima fallout appeared to affect all areas of the U.S. and was especially large in some, mostly in the western part of the nation. They add that CH can provide an early measure to assess any potential changes in the U.S. fetal and infant health status after Fukushima. Because official data was available relatively promptly, health researcher Joe Magano similarly cautioned reports of rising numbers of West Coast infants with underactive thyroid glands after Fukushima suggest that Americans may have been harmed by Fukushima fallout. Studies, especially of the youngest, must proceed immediately. And I think about all those people who have the Geiger counters and withheld that information. Wasn't that nice of them? These people who withheld the information probably thought it was for our own good, didn't want to scare the people. You know who you are. Earlier this year, the Fukushima Prefecture Health Management Survey found that more than 40% of the Japanese children studied showed evidence of thyroid abnormalities, which, Weiserman says, signifies a horrifying plague. He continues, The ultimate death toll among Fukushima's victims may be inescapable, but the industry that's harming them is not. Those thyroid-damaged children bring us yet another tragic warning. There's just one atomic reactor from which our energy can safely come. Two years after Fukushima, it is still 93 million miles away, but more ready than ever to safely, cleanly, and cheaply power our planet. And he's talking about the sun. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.